Hello guys and welcome back, this time, I will show you two very simple techniques to add dirt and dust on your architecture elements. I will be using this column object and did already set up the render engine on cycles, so, usually, with detailed elements like this one, once we have it on exterior scenes or any well lit interior ones, we lose the details due to lighting or distance from camera, and to fix this, we have dirt materials, which are realistic and should apply on any architecture scene, so to not make this video long, both the methods we have are material based, so let us open a new work window for the material edit, and in this one, I will first add a new material to this object, now what we need to have beside the color is the dirt node, so I will copy this BSDF one more time, and give it a dark color, then mix the two nodes together. To control the dirt area, we will use the ambient occlusion node, so open the search bar and you will find it in the first row, once we connect it to the factor input, we see it reversed, so the dark color should sit on the details, and to fix that, we just need to switch the mix nodes between up and bottom ones. We can give the dirt material a roughness value of 1 to boost it more, and also control the dirt area by using a color ramp and experiment with the gradient. From here on you can add a dirt textures if you need, or use paint to further boost the details. For the dust part, it's quite similar. So I will arrange the material back to the mix part, now with the dust, we need the second dark color whether it's dirt, dust or anything else to sit on top faces, or the z-axis faces. So in the factor input, we need first a geometry node to use the normal output from it, and use the separate x, y, z node to connect that to the mix, with this setup. All the faces toward up will have the dust material that we use. And as before, from here on, you can maybe use a sand texture to work as dust on those parts. We can also add a color ramp to further control the dust areas especially near the edges. And that's it. Hope this short video been useful to you guys. And as always, stay sharp, goodbye.